Nepal has tremendous potential to produce and export high-value crops such as tea, lentil and ginger. Although 80% of Nepalese households work in agriculture, the majority of farmers are engaged in farming for home consumption but do not have enough or the right produce to sell. In order to transition to commercial farming, poor farmers need support in accessing quality seeds, training in market standards and in getting their crops to the market. In order to increase exports and respond to the global market, buyers need to be confident they'll have a steady supply of high-quality crops. Stronger links between farmers and markets can benefit both and can help Nepal become more competitive in the agriculture sector. Unfortunately, in Nepal, there's a lack of trust and the links between farmers and commercial buyers are weak. For example, agreements between farmers and buyers are frequently verbal and because of the lack of a legal framework governing producer-buyer relationships, agreements that do exist are not always honored. Price fluctuations in the market, misunderstandings on product specifications or unmet delivery schedules all can affect producer-buyer relationships. USAID Nepal Economic Agriculture and Trade Activity, commonly referred to as NEAT, recognized that in order to foster economic growth and competitiveness of Nepal's high-value agriculture products in regional and international markets, constraints at every level must be addressed. NEAT is building capacity of farmers and firms, strengthening market linkages, increasing access to finances in the agriculture sector and enhancing the business enabling environment through policy reform. One USAID activity that is expected to have long-term impact on agricultural export competitiveness is supporting the government of Nepal as they draft a new Agribusiness Promotion Act. USAID NEED supported private-public dialogues to help formulate the draft of the new Agribusiness Promotion Act, which includes regulations on contract farming and other business-friendly policies for agriculture firms and farmers. These dialogues ensure that the private sector's concerns, such as clarity on the minimum requirements that must be included in a contract, were addressed in the Act. The project also organized a study to on contract farming to India. The trip allowed Nepali government officials and private sector representatives to better understand contract farming law and practices and determine what would really work in Nepal. Contract farming concept is confusion just uh, misinterpretation on Chan, clear on a Sakura, Tinalazi, Tiagora and the Repositi, theoretical group map on Yeru, practical group map on Yeru, two of them, they clear by you, Ramri Masuda, Garibonus. You need to use the idea of Sagna Paco by Ami, maybe Trapani, Ethibria, Drupas, Halpal Gora, Samiti, Gotan Gorera, you come Gorna Sakti, Sakti, Utakura, or got India go up a system like copy Gorera, Tesla Lera, and Rub, Anukul Godana, Saksimki Sakten, or Kukura, you log at Oilipni, you need to play, I live, every mechanization, my soy gori hagosign. This company, you sung a very male Hanikura, this would I hear you, Nitra, you say, I go so I've later, no canoe. As a result of this support, the government recognized that the legal process for resolving disputes that might arise between farmers and buyers must be quick so as not to overburden either party. The new Act now includes a clear mechanism for dispute resolution related to contract farming. Improving the legal framework to protect and uphold farmer-buyer agreements is critical to assuring buyers that have a steady supply and become more competitive in the market. However, there is potential to strengthen market linkages even in the absence of an appropriate legal framework. For example, some agriculture firms and farmers already enter into written agreements in which firms supply seeds and training to farmers, and in return, farmers agree to sell a certain quantity of goods to the buyers at a set price. USA NEAT has supported 20 private sector businesses to link with producers who can provide high quality and predictable quantities of goods in the lentil, tea and ginger sectors. Ginger has significant export potential. Nepal is the third largest producer of ginger in the world but ranks only 11th in terms of income from the crop. Nepal has the raw supply but needs to improve quality, add value and get it to the market. Improving the linkage between exporters and producers can help make this happen. With USAID support, 
Annapurna Organic Agriculture Industries constructed the first ginger processing plant in Nepal. To guarantee supply for its factory, Annapurna Organic has contracted approximately 3,000 farmers in western Nepal, a sizable group of farmers who now have a steady source of income. खासगरी <laughs> With an assured supply of high quality ginger, Annapurna Organic has been able to significantly increase exports. अने खासकरी मार्केट में सही हमें लाइक इतनी क्वांटिटी जस्ट तो मिनिमम क्वांटिटी इतनी आउंसा बन रहा है हमें लाइक पहले इनफॉरमेशन था उन्हें बहुत है ना किसान उसी तरह से इतनी क्वांटिटी आउंसा रत्तियों क्वांटिटी लाइक सही हमें यहाँ को परसों दिन करने को रामापंति से कि तेरी किस्म को तैयार होने Annapurna Organic will be able to continue to scale up their business and become a major player in the international ginger market. With contract farming, farmers have a set price and a reliable market for the ginger. Because of this, more farmers are willing to grow the crop. <laughs> If contract farming legislation is in place, financial institution will be more willing to lend to farmers during planting, providing an additional boost to promising sectors. So contract farming means legally process goes on. Kisan or even our own land is very good. We have to have minimum amount of land. We have to have a minimum amount of land. We have to have a minimum amount of land. We have to have a minimum amount of land. We have to have a minimum amount of land. We have to have a minimum amount of land. We have to have a minimum amount of land. We have to have a minimum amount of land. We have to have in order to strengthen Nepal's position as a competitive player in the global market, agriculture firms must seize opportunities in new markets and meet numerous trade requirements. Without support, poor farmers struggle to access quality inputs and training and risk losing their market. Contract farming can help transform the agriculture sector in Nepal by encouraging poor farmers and buyers to collaborate to address market requirements and meet market demand. Marginalized farmers will enter the formal value chain, become more resilient to market fluctuations and significantly increase their incomes. Agriculture firms will be able to deliver on their commitments to international buyers, expand their market opportunities and help secure a place in the global market for the Nepali brand.